Welcome to the Dr. Aaron Show. May you live your truth. Good morning, Dr. Aaron, Dr. Divinity, teaching universal law and spiritual truth. And today is Monday. Monday, I call it Miracle Monday. They have Monday motivation hashtag, but I love Miracle Monday, you know, knowing that there are no such things as miracles. There are only glitches in your current belief system, which is BS. Hello. It's bullshit. Just kidding. Okay, so I really shouldn't cuss this early in the morning. It's not appropriate at all as far as it's a doctor of divinity. But guess what? We're a little bit about the shock factor around here, having some fun, making uh, fun in la la land around spirituality and the shift. So today's topic is the power of the mind because mind Monday is about the moon. It's about the mind. It's about the power of the mind. And so let's know the truth around how powerful the mind is. And when we talk about the mind, I think that one of the most um, misconceived notions about the mind is that it is just the power of your individual mind. You have to know that your mind, your true mind is connected to your subconscious, is connected to the collective uh, consciousness, is connected to the one mind that is the cosmic mind, okay? So we're talking about that mind, the mastermind, right? The power of the mind. And when you tap into that, you are all powerful. When you stay in your individual little mini me mind, yeah, you're not, you're, you may experience yourself not being so powerful. So I want to talk about the power of the mind. I want to talk about healing. I want to talk about how powerful it is. So there's a book. It's a book I highly recommend. It's actually, you know, one of the bazillion trillion books in metaphysics and new age that I had to read for my doctorate, which is the mind over medicine. Actually, it's really new thought movement, not new age, but uh, kind of morphs into each other. But mind over medicine by Lisa Rankin. Uh, It's a great book. She has a lot of scientific data on how powerful the mind is. And in that book, I think one of the most important data in that book is what's called the Spontaneous Remission Project. And it's a database of 3,500 references documenting cases of unexplained spontaneous disease remission. And so, look, I definitely want to disclose that this is not a conversation of anything being able to be cured. I highly recommend going to your personal doctor for any and all health-related issues. However, having said that, I truly believe that there is an intelligence in the body. And when we truly align with universal law, our own personal truth and mother nature, miracles definitely can happen, okay? So I want to tell you one little random story that I experienced with this because I honestly, I've never experienced terrible health. I've had a few things. I've gone into the emergency room um, one time for my appendix. It actually wasn't my appendix. My intestines got wrapped around my intestines, you know, random things, typical things getting uh, sick. But overall, I've experienced very good health in my life. And um, But I did have one thing one time. I had an actual Uh, experience of a spontaneous remission in my, uh, not remission from a disease, but from just a bizarre situation. I want to share it with you today. So this was some years back, probably almost 10 years ago. And I had actually been working, I was at that point in time, I was just obsessed with consciousness work and spirituality. And I was actually working with all kinds of teachers. And I had found this one teacher that I really wanted to work with. And I was able to actually have him come over to my home in Park City, Utah. And um, he was just going to be there, I believe, for like four days or something like that. And we we're going to go very, very intense in some in some spiritual work. And the day he arrived, I began to not feel well. You know those times when you just you feel like you're literally getting sick and you know it's coming on. You're like, oh no, it's coming on. And I thought, no, 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 I'm just going to pretend like this isn't happening. Well, day two came along. And I was actually I had to go run to the grocery store because I was going to get some more food for some meals we were cooking. And I realized I was definitely sick. You know, that moment when you're like, oh, yep, I'm sick. So I was in the car. I was like a crazy woman, I swear. So I'm in the car. I realize I'm sick. And I started almost like having a conversation with myself like, Aaron, we don't have time for this. I don't have time to be sick like this. This is such an important four days, you know, and I'm literally like yelling at myself. Um, I don't know if I was yelling at myself aloud or inside or what, but I, I got so like, I got so stern with myself and my voice. And I just like, wait, I do not have time for this. And in that moment, it was like, it just, it was like a flash of light. And honestly, the sickness 
all the feeling went away. It was like I was 100% better. And it was the weirdest thing. And I don't know if it's true or not true is like, you know, people might listen to this and go, whatever, it probably just wasn't you just really weren't getting sick. And you can, you know, you can justify it in whatever way you want mentally. But for me, that was a moment in my life that I realized, wow, what is the potential? What is the potential of our consciousness to heal? And I don't usually use a story like that. If I have someone come to me because they want to heal via their mind, I would never say, oh, you're just strong enough to just, you know, command it out of you. Because I don't believe most of us are strong enough for that level of consciousness. And I think I've only experienced having that level of a strong consciousness a few times in my life. But what I do recommend for people, because knowing the truth and people come for prayer work and for knowing the truth around their health, is that if we if we really align with Mother Nature and give the body what it needs and remove the toxins, I have witnessed miracles after miracles of, of spontaneous remission, honestly. And my father working with, you know, thousands of people, this is how I've seen a lot of, of remission in them. So I know that today is a day to know the power of your mind. You have a very, very powerful mind. So I want to ask you a few questions. So do you believe in the power of your mind? Do you believe you have the ability to heal yourself? And that's the question you really need to ask yourself. Because if you're always reliant upon a pill or a doctor, that's fine. Obviously, we, we, we promote in New Thought Movement, we promote both the prayer and the pill, if you will. We believe in Western medicine. We believe there's a time for doctors. And we believe that people are too dependent on it. That There's a time to also let, allow the body to, to do what it does, okay? So today's universal law is the law of healing. So today we align with the law of healing. So healing is done through revealing of the truth. You have the power to heal through the power of your mind. You have been endowed with this infinite intelligence and an innate healer within aligning with mother nature and universal laws allow the symptoms to to be healed. Negativity, toxicity, stress, all are indicators that you're not aligned. So I invite you today to look at your life And ask yourself, number one, we know stress is number one killer. Do you have stress in your life? So what are you going to do about that? That's a conscious choice, okay? So just on that note, we're just inspiring today, knowing the truth, knowing your your mind is all powerful, okay? So today, I invite you for your daily spiritual practice to take 10 minutes to go into visioning. See yourself well. See your, see your health well. Begin to imagine what it would feel like if you were healed physically, mentally, spiritually. Can you imagine that? Can you even imagine that? What does that look like? Who do you have to be? What foods do you intuitively know to eat? What lifestyle do you need to live to be somebody of health? And only you can answer that, right? I mean, you can educate yourself, but bottom line everybody's going to respond to different environments differently, right? So today's challenge in this game of life is to write down all the times you were sick and you allowed your body to heal itself. Write down all the times you have been sick and you just allowed yourself to rest. You allowed yourself to maybe, you know, eat, drink a lot of good juices and allowed the body to do its thing. You be, if we begin to acknowledge this and see this and see it in others, then we begin to build up the case that it's possible. And there's definitely time to go to a doctor as well, right? So on that note, I know that today is a day to reveal the truth, which is that your mind is all powerful, that there is an intelligence built into mother nature there's an intelligence and our primary job your primary job is to get out of the way so may you you know detox from the things that don't serve your body may you release the desire to you know eat junk food to harm the body to basically you're doing one thing or the other you're either healing and 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 giving nutrients to your body or you're taking away you're doing really one or the other when you eat are you putting a bunch of toxins and fried foods and, and processed food and, and high fructose and things that just don't serve the body? Or are you aligning to beautiful whole foods that mother, mother nature knows? It knows exactly what you need, okay? So on that note, if you have uh, 
had some value, had some inspiration, please like, share, and comment this on this. Please give us a review on the podcast. You can find me across the board at Dr. Aaron on all social media. You can find me at DrAaron.tv and AaronFallHaskell.com. And I really would love to invite you into my communities. We have 30dayprosperity.com and the divinemastermind.com. I invite you to get involved. We need each other. We need to educate ourselves and every day that really the only disease is amnesia. And so every day we have to remember who we are, how universal law works, and how to tap into that almighty power that's already always in us. It's always been and it will always be. You are here to know the truth of who you are, to use your consciousness upon universal law and the one mind to live your life you were designed to live, which is basically being the highest version of yourself. You are the flower that God desires to bloom of itself. You are that. You are the Almighty. And in you has that wisdom. And so may you tap into it today. May you know the power of your mind. Have a wonderful day.